Hi, I'm Greg Acosta, editor of Engine Labs. Today we're going to be refreshing a set of cylinder heads. Uh, you might have seen a couple uh, videos back we did an unboxing with a bunch of stuff from Engine Pro, and today we're actually going to be using it and putting it in these GT40P uh, cylinder heads. So let's go! for lapping the valves I'm going to use die cam here and paint the valve seats to make sure we're getting even lapping as you can see the valve seats on this look pretty good from the start uh, which is a credit to the guy I bought the heads from I don't believe he ever ran them on his project you know, he did a home garage refresh with all the stock stuff. And it looks like he did a really good job. So while this is probably wasted effort and wasted diking, because it's probably gonna lap up perfectly right from the outset, we're still going to do it right. All right, so now we're applying some Permatex valve grinding compound onto our new valves. And we will then place them into the head and spin them and perform the, the lapping procedure. If you listen, you will hear it start to go from like heavy grinding to a lot higher pitch fine tone. What you do when that happens, you pick it up, rotate 90 degrees to get fresh compound, put it down, and start all over again. And as I'm spinning this, I'm putting downward pressure onto the valve. I know some people like to chuck this up in a drill, but that's cheating. And then we will pull the valve out. Wipe away 
liquid that remaining valve grinding compound and see that where there was once blue, there's now dull gray, which means everything is good. valves is we're going to go ahead and use some Prussian blue uh, and check the actual fit of the valve to make sure there's no high or low spots on all the seal or all the uh, the valve seats with the valves. So Again, we're putting the stuff on the valve seat because we want to transfer the Prussian blue to the register of the valve when we set it in. This is a non-drying compound, so it's kind of like a goop. I don't know if you can see that. You want to make sure you get it all over, otherwise you're going to have a blank spot, which could just be because you didn't put Prussian blue on the right spot instead of because there's a void in that. So now we're going to go ahead and take our valve, and there's a trick, or not a trick, but a key here, when you drop it, is to bring it up without rotating. Because if you rotate it, you're gonna smear it, and that is going to ruin your impression. So now, as you can see, that nice even spot in the middle means we're making good contact throughout the entire uh, valve seat. So with the valves and valve seats taken care of, we're gonna install these valve stem seals from Engine Pro. They are these cool little uh, full metal clad uh, uh, Viton deals using the Proform uh, seal installer tool. I know a lot of people like to use a socket, but as I said in my article, why use a socket when you have the right tool, right? Now that we've finished lapping our valves and checking it, you know, the seal and everything's good and putting in the seals and getting them all cleaned up and, and installed in the head, now it's time to go to the valve springs and retainers and locks. Uh, for that, uh, we're going with a high performance uh, chrome silicon spring from Engine Pro. Uh, it features 130 pounds on the seat, about 305 open. Uh, and has an internal wound wire uh, vibration damper to help control harmonics. Uh, we have a pretty basic uh, steel, well, chrome alloy steel, uh, seven degree retainer, which is actually quite a bit lighter than the standard Ford retainer. Um, 
I was surprised me with it was on the on the intake retainers were talking like 10 grams and and like 13 grams on the on the exhaust side because Ford had those really weird really heavy retainers uh, and then for locks they sent their uh, just the steel nitrided uh, nit nitride black I think they call it uh, seven degree locks and that'll that'll secure everything and we'll be good to go. refresh set of four GT40P heads. Uh, these will be going on the dyno. We'll be doing a bunch of dyno testing uh, with these heads, uh, kind of in the old school style uh, of, of the Ford 5.0 movement. Uh, obviously, my small block Ford is not ready for the dyno quite yet, but we'll be fixing that soon in upcoming videos and in upcoming articles. Uh, so if you want to see the complete breakdown of this, make sure you check out EngineLabs.com. And until then, we'll see you next time.